Good evening. As you join us, we have important news breaking. An American submarine, believed to be the Los Angeles-class USS Cheyenne, has dealt a severe blow to Chinese submarine forces in the Spratly Islands. Greg Hayes is in the Pentagon briefing room. Jim, firing Tomahawk cruise missiles, the Cheyenne destroyed a temporary submarine base on the Corduron Reef, which is part of the Spratleys, thus denying the Chinese military a local resupply and refueling point. As for Greg, the... hold on a minute. The White House press room's gone live. Ladies and gentlemen, you probably know that U.S. forces today fired cruise missiles at a Chinese base on the Spratleys. The base has been destroyed. I'm authorized by the president to tell you that no one should underestimate America's determination that this illegal and unprovoked occupation of violence protected by international treaty will not stand. That's it. Things are beginning to happen quickly now. We have a live unit at the Chinese mission to the UN where Ambassador Wu Tai Chen is about to make a statement. The People's Republic of China will not tolerate interference by Western powers in its affairs. The unprovoked attacks on our submarines are acts of war that will not go unchallenged. Let there be no mistake. China has advanced nuclear submarines to replace those that were lost. The Spratly Islands, or as they are correctly called, the Nangsha Islands, are a part of China, and we will defend them as we would any part of our nation. This is an extraordinary revelation if it proves true. What are the chances that China has advanced subs to challenge America's fleet, Admiral? It's quite possible and could be very serious news indeed, Jim. If the Chinese do, in fact, have advanced nuclear submarines, they would likely be Russian-built vessels. Russia has been offloading antiquated Kilo-class submarines on the Chinese, and we have seen some in this theater. But if, for instance, the Chinese acquire Russian Alpha-class vessels, that would be a significant threat. The Alpha is a deadly submarine, faster than our Los Angeles class and able to operate at greater depths. And conditions in Russia are such that some sort of exchange might well have taken place. It might just explain the mysterious disappearance of the Columbus, our nuclear sub that was lost with all hands, apparently before this crisis began. Congress, in its wisdom, downsized the U.S. Navy in the belief they would not have to fight this kind of enemy again. The Russians, it was said, are on our side. Of course, I have been saying for some time that there was a danger of this happening. And now that it has happened, I regret our fighting men and women will have a much tougher task before them. TCN's Sally Jarvis is with those men and women on board the USS Independence, the flagship of America's South China Sea Battle Group. Sally, you've been listening to us. Is there any evidence of advanced Russian subs among the Chinese fleet? No, Jim, not as far as we can tell. In fact, intelligence people here say the destruction of that base was a real blow to the Chinese Navy, and that this battle group is close to being in position to exert absolute control over the entire Spratly region. Our surface and submarine forces are hunting the waters around the Spratlys now to locate any further Chinese forces and neutralize them. One source described it to me as a mopping up. Thank you, Sally. One more note before we leave you at this time. Many of you have asked whether or not our Beijing correspondent David Kendall and his camera crew are safe. We regret to say that we simply do not know. As you may know, their satellite connection with us went down the other day, and we have not heard a word from them since. Hey, welcome back, everyone. Good afternoon. Well, I guess it's evening now. This is patrol. Okay, so we finished our tomahawk strike, and now we have to clear this area of submarines. Uh, if you didn't watch the briefing, um, it seems like we're hinted at that there might be some alphas in the area. But alpha isn't the greatest threat we face from the Soviet Navy. It'd definitely be the Akula. Alphas are loud as hell. They're very noisy, and they're not meant for extended deployments. They're just meant to intercept surface groups and shit like that so well they are definitely a formidable threat in terms of their depth and their speed that's why we develop more advanced torpedoes the cool is definitely the greater threat due to its 
vastly improved silencing measures thanks to the Walker spy ring, courtesy of American traders. But more about that later. Maybe later. I don't know. You can check it out. I might put up an annotation to that. Alright, so all we gotta do is just um, fire a maneuver. Just gotta pick up targets and take them out. That's pretty much what our mission is. So, uh, let's go up. If any of you watched my uh, um, live stream shit, this is that same mission. Ooh, new contact. Biologic. This is that same mission, but uh, I want to do it for real this time. Instead of just um, whatever we were doing. Did it, was there a comms message for me? I don't remember. Alright, well I'm going to neutral buoyancy it up. This seems to be a pretty high layer. Yeah, this is a really high layer. So I'll try to remember that. <coughs> no, I guess there's no message waiting for me. But, uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do those. Oh, here we are, actually. I'm not. St. Pack Fleet to Cheyenne Advisory. Chinese ASW Helos sighted in at Waypoint Bravo. Proceed with caution. Very well. Alright, I'm going to chill up here for a little bit, see if we pick up anything. Uh, but what was I about to say? Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do the little ticker messages for this shit. For, the, for from now on, because it takes so much time to do. <laughs> you have to scroll through and figure out what it's saying, and voice it over, and redo it if you mess up. It makes my editing go from like maybe five minutes to like almost an hour's worth of editing per video, so uh, unless you guys really want to see it, please let me know if you really do. I'll do it. Otherwise, I'm not going to. It's really just a big hassle. I mean, I, I uh, granted it is very cool, but it is a lot of work, and I am a college student, so my time uh, is not exactly... um. I was farting, if you're wondering why I was making that weird noise. My time is, uh, I don't have as much free time as if I wasn't doing anything else than recording. Okay, but I think top side's clear, so let's, let's head down and see what's going on. Um, I don't really remember the live stream. That was a while ago, so I don't remember what, what to expect and when to expect it. This first waypoint might be kind of uneventful. I'm not sure. But in any case, I'm going to drop down to the second layer and see if we got anyone down there. If there are Russian SSMs, they'll probably be deep. Unlike these Chinese SSMs, which can't go deeper than like a thousand feet. So, going on down. But yeah, I don't know if you can hear it. I'm getting over my cold. I'm on the tail end of it, thankfully. It was pretty bad. It was like one step away from being a fever. But in the last two videos, like last Stalker and the last SSN video, if it doesn't sound like I'm sick, it's because those were pre-recorded before I got sick. I uh, I record all the SSN missions at once because you can't really save it in between the missions, so I kind of have to. Oh, there's the biologic again. Doesn't seem to be much else out here. But uh, I'll need to out this ballast pretty quickly. Um, if there's no one around in this lower layer, I might flank it up. Or at least increase speed. Just to get to this waypoint. I have made some progress in five minutes. But I don't know. Sometimes it can be. The first waypoints can always be kind of boring. So we'll see. We will see. I don't think I'm picking anyone up. Oh, hello. Maybe not. Maybe that was a lie. Oh, oh, oh. I can't see. Go up just so the plane can get out of the way. That might be a kilo. I'm not seeing it. Oh, how do I turn this crosshair off again? There's a way to turn this crosshair off. Uh, da 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 da. H. Yeah, it could be a kilo. But he's turning along pretty quick. There's no way in hell he can hear me. Uh, Torps, set for stealth. 
he's just at the edge of my... Why is he not really heading away from me? It's kind of weird. Oh, maybe it's because he's going more or less on like a... Oh, that's probably what I was. He was going on the tangent to the circle or something. I don't know. What, I'm just babbling on. But I'm going to wait for a confirmation before I engage. Might increase to one third just so he doesn't spread the gap as wide. Hold on a sec. Hey, well, I got a care package from my mother. That's sweet. Yeah, waiting for confirmation on this target. Um, Kilo, hey, there you go. Fire water. I'm not sure if we're going to get a hit. He's kind of far. He has no idea I'm here, though. He's just chopping along pretty damn quickly, too. I'm glad I decided to come down here and check it out. I never would have ran into this guy. I would have gotten all the way to the waypoint next. I would have been like, oh, we should clear the area first. Like, duh. <laughs> Thanks for telling me now. Alright, well, I'm going to move into his baffles or something. So I can try and catch up to him in case this torpedo doesn't hit. Oh, now he's turning to bear. Alright, this torpedo might actually hit now. I'm going to I'm gonna hit uh, bow on. Reduce my sonar signature. Either way. Head right for him. What about this turn? Perfect. Well, that torpedo's. I got out there pretty damn quickly. Well, now he's heading like right for me, so it's closing the gap. Almost like 30, 45 knots or something, probably. Well, now he just turned around. Maybe he still doesn't know I'm here. Alright, well, slow, 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 slow. Unless my torpedo's about to strike him. He doesn't seem to know it's there. <laughs> I guess he was going too fast. Uh, he just took a pretty big turn. The only reason he lost speed, he was still making turns for 16 knots, probably. If I had a demon just... Oh, no, he just launched a decoy. He's pretty deep, though. I'm not familiar with what the maximum depth for a kilo is. Come on, come on, come on, buddy. You know you want to lock on, you know you want to. Do it, daddy, do it. New sonar count. Oh, it's another countermeasure. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Son of a bitch. Fire. Right, I'm gonna go back to moving into position to his baffles. Still doesn't seem to know I'm here. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. I probably could use the fast. Yeah, I mean, he's pretty deep. Pretty deep. He looks to be at like 1,100 feet or something, man. Where are we in terms of waypoint? Getting kind of close. Oh, he just fired on me. Okay. I'm going to try shallower rudder this time, see if I can pick up speed more quickly. Oh, two torpedoes in the water. Oh, fuck that. Just get over. Alright, I'm actually going to go shallow. Full rise in the planes. So we get over, hard over. Countermeasures. Full rudder. You know this turn. Up we go. Countermeasures away. Bring us back down. Countermeasures. Right full rudder. Nope, nope. Give me negative buoyancy. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Go, go, go. Countermeasures. Left for rudder, left for rudder, left for rudder. We're good. Now oh, we got the kilo, yes. I'll hit one third. Yep, he's done. Done, done, done. <coughs> what am I picking up? Is that the depth charge? Oh, it might be the whale. It's the whale. He's dead as the depth charge. Oh, we're almost at this point. Should be there fairly shortly. That's probably the only contact in the area, so I'm just gonna juice it up till we get to this waypoint. <sighs> if nothing eventful happens, I'll meet you at the uh, waypoint. Bravo. Hey, we're back. Holy crap, Alpha Han.
Oh, we're getting pinged. Someone's lighting us up. Hey, I've got a bad feeling, too, because we already have both our contacts. Alpha way off in the fucking distance in this Han. Where were those pings coming from? I don't remember. And we got a fucking whale right there. What's up? Jeez. Man, that thing is going crazy. I don't know why it does that on the emulator kind of thing. Well, this dude's pinging away. I'm, I'm actually going to go deep. <clears throat> Try, well, mm, he seems to be turning back towards me. I want to close this gap before I launch torpedoes. That whale's a big fucker. If you hit him, you'll take damage all right. Yeah, so... Don't go on no crazy suicide missions. I'm just gonna get... Hello. I'm just gonna get close to the lair, I think. Okay, uh, I'm gonna fire. He's heading towards me. Yeah, that was... But yeah, did you see that? I'm being kind of nonchalant about it. We got a fucking alpha up there, man. Some scary shit, dude. just went below the layer, so he's deep. So I'm going to chill above the layer until we confirm this guy is gone. He might actually launch on me soon. Um, above the planes, neutral ballast. I might... Yeah, he just launched on me. Son of a bitch. This motherfucker is pinging me. I don't know why I classified him right away, that was kind of weird. And those torps are headed right- oh, go beneath the lair. <laughs> He's going shallow, that guy's surfacing, I think. I don't know Alpha's gonna be able to hear me flanking it. Kinda sucks. <laughs> and those torps. Okay, I'm gonna launch two more countermeasures and then let's reverse our turn. Level on the planes. I'll level the boat and then level the planes. More countermeasures. No, it's one torpedo at me, it looks like. I'll have one third. What's my other torpedo doing? You got a good lock, you gotta get him. No, I just launched a countermeasure, son of a bitch. Alright, I'm gonna launch it fast. Oh, I got him. Sweet. Alright, slow down. That alpha's down here somewhere. Yeah, that's what you get for pinging my ass. Oh, well, there's two layers. That alpha could be down below the second one, even. Shit, I didn't even see that. Alright, well, I'm gonna go slow and see if we can pick him up. I thought that torpedo was going to miss when he lost that other decoy. Do, do, do. Okay, I'm going to keep going down. I don't think he's in this layer. Increased our ballast a little bit here. This layer looks to be about like 1,300 feet, probably. So I don't know how deep I can actually really go below this layer. I'm, I'm really not aware of what my crust depth is. I think it's above 1,500 feet, or around 1,500 feet or something, but we should be able to get underneath this thermocline fine and not die. <laughs> the cob will tell you that you're coming up on the cr crust depth if you pay attention to that. Sir, we're being pinged. That alpha's pinging us too. Son of a bitch. Shallower. Well, he just went up above the, the thermocline, it seems like. Or he's really chilling, like, right at the edge of it. Okay, well, he there's probably no way he can pick us up on his active, so we're just, like, reading him, and he doesn't even know we're here, so... It's one of the perils of actively transmitting. That is the peril of actively transmitting. People are... It's like a cop with a flashlight in a warehouse. Like, you're gonna see him way before you can he can see you. That's why you don't do it, <laughs> unless you're already being attacked or something. Man, that guy's coming down quickly. I have no idea what our crush depth is in this game. I'm kind of nervous to try and figure out. Oh, he's going down. He's coming deep. I'm kind of nervous to figure out what it is, because I'm pretty sure he was said the cop says when we're approaching crush depth. But 
I don't remember what it was in Dangerous Waters. It's probably something similar to that, but Alpha appears to be heading straight for me. <laughs> no, it looks like he's in a turn. But he's slowing down a lot. No, no he's speeding up. He's kind of chilling around, but he's definitely coming down here with us. But there's no way he can hear us. Those things are so freaking loud. <coughs> Yeah, I don't. I think all the alphas were did. Uh, maybe not. Maybe they weren't decommissioned at this point. But I know Russia was eager to decommission those to make some money off of them because they're made of solid titanium. Those things are freaking expensive. And they apparently do have more powerful reactors than the Los Angeles class. I thought they didn't. I thought it was just because the alpha is so much smaller that was good enough. But I always forget that their propeller designs were crap before the Walker ring stuff. Okay, now he's going really shallow now. But yeah, because like the Alpha is so much smaller and has a powerful reactor, but it only goes seven knots faster. I don't know what the coefficient of drag thing though is with underwater. It might be a lot more severe than air, but I don't know. I can't tell if we're still being pinged. <clears throat> My very nice headphones are open back; they're not closed back, so. My desktop is very loud, there's a lot of fans in it, so it kind of gives me like a floor of how good of how much of sound I can hear. For a reason I wish these headphones weren't closed back. Might be able to hear if he was pinging me, but 